It's 11th of December 2021. We got ourselves a special trip. We're going to Baghdad, Iraq for the first time in 38 years. So come with me on this exciting adventure, this emotional trip, and away we go! It's been 38 years since I've been back home. I'm so excited. I'm sure a lot has changed. You ready to go? Ready. Let's rock and roll. There you go. Bye-bye. Iraqi Airways takes off from a different airport in Dubai. An hour and a half later, we find ourselves in Baghdad. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at Baghdad Antam National Airport. The outside temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Local time, 3 and 50 minutes p.m. Can you hear me seated until the aircraft has completely stopped? The seatbelt sign has been switched off. As soon as we land, we are whisked off to a friend's house for dinner. A Uzi was prepared for us, in honor of the guests, that's us. A ram is sacrificed, in honor of the guests, in honor of our safety. The next morning I decided to take a stroll through the neighborhood. We were staying in Karade, in the Babylon Hotel, an absolutely beautiful hotel and I had a room with a view of the Tigris River. I was somewhat familiar with the neighborhood since my grandparents and my cousins lived there, so I took a stroll by the river to see the suspension bridge. Then I cut in to see in a karada. Life was normal, fruit stalls were being set out, bakers were baking their khawaz, and life was just normal. It was absolutely beautiful. What, what we got going on here is a, um, is a shawarma sandwich, lefet gazakh nesamiya, or we call it, along with the yogurt drink uh, that this uh, gentleman over here just prepared for me. So we're gonna test it out, see what it's like. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. Leave it. You can't have a chai. It's the can chai if it's not sweet. Mm, that is good. After my breakfast, I continued to walk up in a Karada. I kind of got tired, so I hopped in a Costa, which is like a local bus. And for 30 cents, I got to see some Baghdadi landmarks. Here we are on the most iconic landmark of Baghdad, Sahd al-Tahrir. It commemorates the 1958 establishment of the Republic of Iraq and it also is the downtown of Baghdad. It's also the area of demonstrations and celebrations and festivals. And just around the corner from Sahd al-Tahrir is Shah Rashid, one of Baghdad's busiest thoroughfares. Lots going on. My mom would always say, this street is so busy, it's like Shah Rashid. And you know what? She ain't kidding. This really is Shah Rashid. <laughs> We're in Georgia. Very, very busy marketplace on Shah Rashid. There is everything you could buy that you could ever want is right here. I don't know how anything happens. There's a ton of traffic. There's people crossing the street. There's trucks parked on the other side. And it's just pandemonium and chaos. But you know what? It's what makes Baghdad Baghdad. It's what makes it a beautiful city. Enjoy. How busy is it? 
It's like Shah Al Rashid. That's how busy it is. Drubinsky doesn't do this. He don't walk right down the middle of Shah Al Rashid, does he? Well, we got out of Georgia to cross the Jisr Shuhada, the Martyrs Bridge. And we're right here in the middle of the uh, Tigris River. What we got going on here on the um, on the Martyrs Bridge is four for a thousand. And he's got little sparrows, little birds here. And each one represents a dream. So people give him a thousand dinars. And um, and they release and they release the dreams and they release the dreams. That's what's going on. There you go. Well, on the other side of the bridge, we get to the Kerch side of Baghdad, where we find mezguf, grilled fish, being prepared. This is a Baghdadi dish. Iraqis love this. After all that walking, I hopped on a cab and went to go see my aunt I haven't seen in 38 years. It was an emotional reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Habibi, Habibi. Yalla, Hi, Yalla, after that emotional reunion, it was time to meet the rest from my mother's side. We had a big banquet, a gathering together to meet everyone that I hadn't seen and in fact there were some people I've never seen before because they were born after I left there's my cousin Omar also known as Pinky an absolute gentleman what a gem of a man and there is my cousin Hana I hadn't seen in 38 years we grew up together playing in the playgrounds but first I was introduced to this distinguished gentleman right here he married my cousin his name is Ahmed what a lovely guy And there I am giving Hana a hug. I missed her so much. It's it's amazing how people look different, but they're still the same. They still got the same kind heart. They've still got the same smile. It was wonderful to see everybody. It was way too long. Sadly, on this trip, I didn't get to spend any time with my father's side of the family. He still popped over and said hello. They were so mad at me for not spending any time with them. I promised them the next time we would spend a lot more time together and I get to become reacquainted with the rest of my cousins and the rest of my uncles. Ra'ad, what's going on here? What are we doing? This is Ali al -Lami. This okay. is who? Ali Al-Lami. This Ali is a legendary burger place. Is it burgers or shawarma? I mean, shawarma. They do everything shawarma, the whole lot. Shawarma. But more importantly, the name is legendary in Iraqi cuisine. Okay. okay. So it's an iconic... Very iconic. That's a good word, actually, yes. It's an iconic place to... Okay. What, is it just for late nights? Or is it during the day as well? well do you know? It's more for night or for dinner than lunches, I would say. Okay. This is what we call makhleme. It's a, uh, it's like scrambled eggs with meat and tomatoes and other types of uh, herbs and spices in there. And they also served mine today with some soup, pickles, 
cucumbers, tomatoes, and some greeneries here. I can't believe. It is surreal. I can't believe. But I'm in Baghdad. It's fucking weird. But not strange. <laughs> There is just so much going on here with the sights and the sounds and the people and the noises and the foods and the and the chai and the meshui and Uma's goof and everything and it's just Arabana to Sayara to Texi Yeah, it's just so much. It's all compact. And everybody is screaming at each other. I haven't felt energy like this ever before in my entire life, never. And I've been everywhere, I've been to Hong Kong, and I've been to Mumbai, I've been to all the busy places. London, whatever. But nothing, nothing comes close to the intensity and the power and the electricity and the sheer energy that Baghdad has. Nothing. The food tour of Baghdad continues with eating pache. It's an Iraqi delicacy. I asked Abu Ali what's in it. Abu Ali tells us, well, it's, it's the meat in the head. It's everything you get, like the eyeballs, the brains, the cheek, everything that the head has. Abu Ahmed, what is pacha? Shunu pacha? It's the head of of Kharouf. Ras al Kharouf. Zian. When the Moch? And you, you, you should use your uh, hands to eat it. <laughs> As we eat our way through Baghdad, we are at a landmark here at Rahman's Grilled Meat Restaurant. The Meshwi is absolutely delicious. commentary on this. You can't get more authentic than this. You can't. This is it. Welcome to Iraq. We're sitting out here trying the best grills. Grilled the meat. best grilled meat I have ever tasted in my entire life. Like this is Iraqi style right here. You can't go more than this. More you Iraqi. really can. You no. Can. Like this is really Iraqi this style. This is the real deal. Like, what makes an Iraqi style real deal? Like what is it? It's the the bread some more you only find it in, in Iraq, no other country, the bread for a start. The bread makes a sandwich I find. The way the way the lamb is totally organic. No BS in it, just pure, pure, pure meat. The vegetables are fully organic. Delicious. Oh. It's delicious. I've never tasted anything like this before, ever. And the one? Oh, I am loving. Now this is my fifth meal of the day. Wow, it's my fifth meal of the day, and I'm gonna go and have a sixth one. Oh my god! I just can't stop eating. <laughs> this is so delicious, man. Lek hele. Some of that. 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 It's an old area, but it's grown a lot since I left. So much has changed in the city. It was always upscale, but I've never seen it this vibrant ever, and I never imagined it to be this vibrant. It's a very, very exciting place to be. Upscale malls and stores lie on either side of the main thoroughfare in Mansour. Baghdad. It's not just the old town where things happen. The new town. The new parts of the old town. The crane index, the vibrancy, the youth. It's just an absolute exciting city to be in. Real estate is going through the roof and there is this incredible optimism in this country. After years of crippling violence and embargoes and economic and political instability. The country of Iraq is open for business and it is booming. I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be more proud of my city. I couldn't be more proud of the country where I was born. I will come back again and soon.